Imagine yourself aboard a spaceship watching Earth. This fragile blue marble shrink smaller and smaller beneath you. You pierce through the atmosphere where the azure sky fades into the infinite black of space. The moon, a silver beacon glowing in the void, slips behind you. The planets of our solar system glide past one by one. Mercury with its scorched surface, Venus cloaked in searing clouds, and Mars with its rusty red soil. The sun, the beating heart of our solar system, dwindles to a distant, radiant speck. But this is only the beginning of our journey. We're leaving the solar system, a mere speck in the Milky Way galaxy, and soaring toward the grand cosmic web, a vast network cradling galaxies, stars, and perhaps even life itself. In this tale, I'll guide you from our humble planet to the edges of the cosmos, woven with the latest scientific discoveries. Our journey begins in the Milky Way, our cosmic home, housing 100 to 200 billion stars, according to the Gaia mission. Picture it as a spinning disk with spiraling arms, brimming with stars, planets, gas, and dust. At its core lies a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A. With a mass 4.3 million times that of the Sun, orchestrating this galactic symphony. The Milky Way's spiral arms, where Earth resides in a minor branch called the Orion Arm, are alive with young stars and vibrant nebulae birthing new ones. But our galaxy is just one of billions in the universe. Galaxies come in diverse shapes and sizes. Spiral, like the Milky Way or Andromeda, with swirling arms and radiant stars. Elliptical, glowing egg-shaped clusters filled with ancient stars and little gas for new ones. Irregular, chaotic clouds like the Magellanic clouds, lacking defined structure. Each galaxy tells a unique story. Some, like dwarf galaxies, hold mere millions of stars, while giants like IC 1101 boast up to a trillion. The Milky Way, a mid-sized marvel, is even devouring smaller galaxies, like the Kinnis Major Dwarf, as part of its cosmic evolution. Galaxies aren't solitary. The Milky Way belongs to the local group, a cluster of 54 galaxies. Its closest neighbor, Andromeda, lies 2.5 million light-years away and is hurtling toward us at 110 kilometers per second. In about 4.5 billion years, Andromeda and the Milky Way will collide. Not in catastrophe, but in a cosmic dance, merging into a massive elliptical galaxy. This galactic waltz is just one of countless stories in the cosmos. Now, let's zoom out. Galaxies cluster together like people in bustling communities. These galaxy clusters house hundreds to thousands of galaxies. The Virgo Cluster, where the Milky Way sits on the outskirts, spans 15 million light years and contains over 1,300 galaxies. A cosmic metropolis where galaxies orbit a shared gravitational center. The space between these galaxies isn't empty. Scorching gas, Glowing at millions of degrees, Kelvin and visible through X-ray telescopes like Chandra, flows like molten streets between galactic skyscrapers. These gases sometimes collapse to form new stars or even galaxies. The invisible glue holding clusters together? Dark matter, a mysterious substance making up 27% of the universe's mass energy. Clusters are part of even larger structures called superclusters. Our home, the Laniakea Supercluster, discovered in 2014, 
spans 520 million light years and houses 100,000 galaxies. Now, let's pull back until the entire universe fits into view. From this distance, galaxies aren't isolated dots but shimmering beads strung across a colossal network. The cosmic web, the largest known structure in the cosmos, it's woven from three main threads. 1. Filaments Long, slender strands of galaxies like cosmic highways stretching hundreds of millions of light years. 2. Walls, flat sheets of galaxies linking filaments, like the walls of a celestial city. 3. Voids, vast, nearly empty chasms between filaments and walls, like dark oceans separating luminous islands. Advanced simulations like Illustri's TNG-1 2020 reveal this web formed from tiny density fluctuations in the early universe, moments after the Big Bang. The cosmos was a hot, uniform soup of particles, but slightly denser regions drew in matter via gravity, forming filaments and nodes. Dark matter, invisible yet gravitationally potent, acted as an unseen scaffold, arranging galaxies along these cosmic threads. A stunning example is the Sloan Great Wall, a galactic structure over 1.4 billion light-years long, one of the largest known in the universe. It's a cosmic superhighway, linking galaxies and clusters in a breathtaking chain. In contrast to the bustling filaments and nodes, cosmic voids are immense dark hollows in the cosmic web. Spanning hundreds of millions of light years, they're nearly devoid of galaxies, stars, or gas. The Buddha's void, one of the largest, stretches 330 million light years and holds just a handful of galaxies. Imagine traveling at light speed through this void. Millions of years in utter darkness, not a star in sight. Voids formed as the universe expanded, and gravity pulled matter toward denser regions, emptying out less dense ones. Dark energy, a mysterious force comprising 68% of the universe's mass energy, accelerates this expansion, making voids larger and emptier. Though nearly empty, Voids contain traces of dark matter and diffuse gas, too sparse to see. Scientists use voids as natural laboratories to study dark energy and cosmic expansion. Projects like Euclid are mapping voids to unlock dark energy secrets. Some theories suggest voids might hide exotic structures, like thin dark matter filaments or isolated galaxies, though evidence remains elusive. The cosmic web wouldn't exist without two enigmatic forces, dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, roughly 27% of the universe, is an invisible glue binding galaxies and shaping filaments. It doesn't interact with light, but its gravity sculpts the cosmos. Simulations like the Millennium Simulation 2 2005, show that without dark matter, Galaxies wouldn't align so neatly along filaments and nodes. Dark energy, comprising 68% of the universe, drives the universe's accelerating expansion, pushing galaxies apart and stretching voids. Without it, gravity might have collapsed the cosmos. Instead, the universe expands faster every moment. Dark matter builds structures, Dark energy tears them apart, a cosmic tug of war. The cosmic web isn't static, it's a living, evolving entity. Galaxies glide along filaments like dew on a spider's web, drawn toward massive nodes, clusters and superclusters. 
Guided by gravity, this cosmic dance unfolds over billions of years. The Milky Way and Andromeda, for instance, are drifting toward the local group's gravitational center, destined to merge in the distant future. Clusters grow by absorbing smaller galaxies, and superclusters coalesce into ever larger nodes. Meanwhile, dark energy stretches voids and thins filaments. Trillions of years from now, most galaxies will huddle in massive clusters, while voids grow so vast that distant galaxies fade from view. This second dark age looms, where stars dim, galaxies drift apart, and the cosmos cools into a cold, empty expanse. Until then, the cosmic web pulses, guiding galaxies and weaving new tales of stellar birth and death. Now, let's return to Earth, this tiny speck in the Orion arm of the Milky Way, on the fringes of the Laniakea supercluster. We're but a moat in this immense web, yet our ability to perceive and understand it is a miracle. Telescopes like Hubble, James Webb, and Euclid let us glimpse the universe's past, when the first galaxies formed and forecast its future. The cosmic web is more than a structure. It's the signature of the universe's creation. From the Big Bang, when the cosmos sparked from a hot, dense point, to today's sprawling web, it tells a saga of order and chaos. Galaxies are born on filaments, merge in nodes, and vanish into voids. Perhaps somewhere in this web, other life gazes at the stars just like us. Tonight, when you look at the stars, remember, you're part of this living web. Every star, every galaxy, every void is a chapter in a story that began billions of years ago and will unfold for billions more. We're tiny travelers in this grand journey, but with each discovery, we edge closer to unraveling the cosmos's mysteries.